part two of this video tutorial on Remedy Force reporting and dashboards. I'm going to walk you through taking existing reports and using them to create dashboards. A dashboard is simply a visual representation of your report data. You can't create a dashboard without a report. Let's look at some out-of-the-box dashboards. Again, you can access dashboards in a few different ways. Through Remedy Force administration, as seen in the first video, or through the Dashboards tab, or through the Reports tab. There are a number of out-of-the-box dashboards that can be edited or cloned. These are our dashboards folders. So you can see there's a BMC Remedy Force dashboard, a chat dashboard, a CNDB dashboard, a survey dashboard, um, a number to pick from. Let's take a look at the BMC Remedy Force dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and click on it to bring it up. As you can see from this dashboard, it's a collection of components. The Priority 1 Incidents component, for example, is a visual representation of the Priority 1 Incidents report. You can see, we're going to go into edit mode, that a dashboard has a component or visual format that you can select, as well as a data source, which is the report the dashboard is pulled from. So you can edit these dashboards in a number of different ways. We're going to go ahead and click on the dashboard and I can adjust the, the chart type. I can go ahead and choose to not show my values. So we can play with this to make the changes that, that we're interested in making. I mean, I think you get the idea, but let's take a closer look here and go back to the dashboards list. So we're going to close out of here. create a dashboard based on reports we created in part one of our video series. You may recall we created a dashboard, or rather, excuse me, we created a report that showed us data on how many licensed staff users we had in a small demo org. Uh, we now want to go ahead and reflect that in a dashboard for administrators to use for license management. So let's go ahead and click on New Dashboard. And then here we're going to go ahead and select a component type and drag it over. Now we need to drag over a data source. So again, we're going to go back to the reports. And this was the license report for video. Now, as you can see here, uh, we're receiving an error that this report cannot be used as a source for this component. The error message is telling us that we need to add a grouping to our report as we need to focus the data that we want to appear on the dashboard. So let's go back to our report. And this was our staff license report for video. So we're going to go ahead and customize that. And in the Service Desk Staff column, we're going to go ahead and group by this field. And then we're going to go ahead and save the report. Let's go back to our Dashboard tab and reselect our component, as well as our data source. Now we can edit the dashboard. Let's again make it wide, a little easier to work with. And we're going to want to fix some formatting so that it makes more sense. Working our way back, we're going to set our maximum to 9 because I've got um, a total of 9 uh, licenses in my org. The middle range, let's go ahead and make that 6, and the low range, 3. Let's also go ahead and flip the colors to make the low range green and the high range red for alert. Let's give it a title, Remedy Force Staff Users. Now this looks better and it makes more sense. As mentioned, my org is very small, so you'll want to adjust these ranges based on the number of Remedy Force licenses you purchase. If you've purchased 100 licenses, you'll want your max range to be 100. This dashboard is a very easy tool for administrators in my org to visually see how many licenses are in use and how close you are to potentially need to order more. I only have two more licenses to provision before I'm out of compliance with my license agreement. Now let's save the dashboard. 
I'm going to call this the admin dashboard. I'm going to save it in my personal dashboards, but again, you can put it in a shared folder for wider access. Let's add another component to this dashboard for practice that might also be helpful to administrators as they try to manage their Remedy Force environment. We're going to look at login information. First, let's look at an administrative report that was already created by returning to the Reports tab. Again, My Personal Custom Reports. And we're going to look at the video 30 plus days staff never logged in. So we can see the, the report criteria here. The login date is blank. The service desk staff equals true. And the created date is not within the last 30 days. So now let's flip back and continue creating our dashboard based on this report. So I'm going to go ahead again and pull my component over, my data source. Let's find the report again, video 30 plus days, staff never logged in. So let's go ahead and title this 30 plus days staff not logged in. And let's make some other changes as well. We're going to go ahead and widen this. And then also let's look at some attributes. I want to go ahead and show values. So I can see here based on profile how many people have not logged in um, the, the sheer number um, in, in excess of 30 days. So this dashboard now gives the administrator a good view of staff login history. So this concludes our two-part video tutorial on Remedy Force reporting and dashboards. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please contact your CSM or email remedyforcesuccess at bmc.com.